yeah been sick it's been quite a quite a while since I've been here everything looks similar-ish looks similar-ish but very quiet I don't know why is it because it's um election day I don't know I thought it would be the opposite around this part of town we're gonna get over to the White House and see what's going down over there oh dude look at this there's police everywhere it's about to go down wow we're near the White House tonight you're gonna find out who or maybe tomorrow actually, who knows? We're gonna find out who is worthy of being the next president of the United States. Insane atmosphere. Either way, I was saying this to my friend, either way, there's gonna be a, a riot or uproar. Politics is a serious, deep thing. guys the um the the white house is locked off it seems like it seems like there's uh something going down here tonight look i mean this is for the inauguration apparently they're preparing already which is weird because it's november but yeah this is what's going down we got a couple of uh tourists here looking around thinking what the hell's going on including myself but I've passed Taurus League now. I'm basically pretty much like a US resident. The way I know my stuff around this country. Even with a three year absence, still, I know my roots around here. Yeah. I mean, DC is quite easy though. DC is quite easy. But yeah, man, it looks like it's, uh, it's not happening. Looks like it's locked off. Got a guy over there going crazy with the Secret Service. Right there. Got this guy, photographer guy here. Looks like a movie director. And uh, this is it. This is what's going down in DC, unfortunately. Let's try and see if there's another route, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Yeah. But you can go out tonight to many places, many venues, and watch the uh, election live. The results live. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah. Let's take this route, but I don't think it's gonna do any different. I don't think it's gonna do any difference, but we'll see if there's another route. But I got a feeling that all of it's roped up. Hello, sir. Is the uh, the White House all roped up now? Yeah. Ah, no. damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I guess it is roped up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if there's anything anyway. Oh, there's some flags over there. Some people standing over there. Let's see what's going down. Some sort of a uh, street protest, I think. So I came here about um, three years ago, and I remember this guy had the same message, and he's still preaching the same message here. Look, ceasefire in Gaza, but the Gaza situation wasn't as bad. I remember these. It wasn't as bad as it was back then, you know. It's even worse now. But this guy here, man, he, he's really deep on his uh on his politics, man. He's all about freedom and peace. Uh, somewhere in my um, YouTube catalog, 
there is a video of me and him talking but I was a bit immature back then I was a bit immature back then now it's like different hello sir oh there yeah yeah ethnic cleansing thank you brother oh. this is what we were talking about here I look at the map and look how much has changed over over all those years man it's crazy I never seen you before was you are you friends with him ah cool He's like a nephew. Like yeah. He's like a nephew. Ah, uh, it's cool that you're educating the people, man. Now Craig's been he's been with me ten plus years, ten years and a few months. Wow, ten years. Do you think either way, whichever president comes in now, it's still going to be a an issue in the Palestinian land, right? Well, that's what I said. We see the decently fast motion of billions of dollars going over to the Zionist state. Yeah. Trump will send them a hundred billion this first week. He said that. Oh yeah. No, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I can imagine. But also, if we're talking about other situations too, he yeah. will he will tie the hands of Zelensky and force him to do a ceasefire and to give up some land to the Russians. Because that's who he is. I mean, he will say he ended wars and ended conflicts, but he, he won't really end them. He'll put a band-aid on them that later on yeah. that out of the flames of Palestine shall arise a stronger Palestine that will come in and take its land once again. I think you told me, did you tell me your ethnicity was Polynesian? No, Simone Polynesian. No, my father is Ethiopian and my mother, she's um, she's the indigenous people there from Brazil. Oh, yeah. from the from, jungles? From the Amazon, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's amazing. So they, were, they were rough beasts too. They were rough. Yeah. So out of out of that in Brazil, they were they actually thought they were going to be able to occupy Uruguay and Paraguay. Yeah. But Guay, it comes from Guayani. Ah. Para is the waterless land of the Guayani, and Uro is the urban land of the Guayani. Yeah. So yeah. When so, did you wake up to all of this? Uh, I grew up in it. You grew up in yeah, it? Yeah, my father, he was out here in 52 and 53 before I was born, protesting against um, against the human Korean rights. War yeah, yeah. And against the Nakba. Because yeah. in 52, it was only four years after Nakba. Wow. So my father already in 52 was out. So yeah, I mean, from... What do you think dinner conversation was like with a dad like that? Yeah. My mother, women's equality rallies. So, so it was always activism in my house. Wow. So you grew up in a very uh, activist household. Yeah. Which, um, do you subscribe to any religion? Or are you just a free spirit? Love is my religion. So... Uh, like when we went, we went to South Africa the summer of '75. Yeah. Because of apartheid, but I had gone with my grandfather to Palestine in '68. I was only seven, so yeah. I don't remember it too good. But when I went in '81, '84, and '87, '81 and '87, I went to Ramallah, so was bank. And then '84 and '87, I went to Gaza, uh, mm. to Rafa. So, oh, you went there? Oh, yeah. Wow. So, what was it like back then, going there? I mean, there was obviously human rights violations and the different laws for an Israeli and for Palestinian. It was very obvious that what I saw in 74 in South Africa, I saw again yeah. in, in uh, Palestine. So even when Nelson Mandela went there, once he was released um, from, from jail, he's... He said, our work isn't done until until the, the Palestinians are free. So, because he he himself, who's a bigger, who's a bigger expert yeah, yeah. on, on, um, that type on, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, is Nelson Mandela's problem. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Nelson Mandela, I can't think of another person that would be, you know, on apartheid would be a bigger expert than him. So, out of the yeah. mouth of the biggest expert that the world actually respects as being a, a big expert. He said it himself, so I got you. Got to believe him. Yeah. I mean, the Zionist state's not going to say it correctly. Do you ever get um, some sort of uh, no abuse, but oh, yeah, yeah, I guess some abuse. Debate. You even do. Teeth knocked out. Oh man. Um, machetes coming through the vigil. Die wow. Palestinian whore. Yelling, die Palestinian whore to me. And, wow. Uh, and this is from Americans. Uh, Zionist. Zionist Americans. Yeah, American Zionist. 
people don't when you say Zionist they think you're cuckoo they think what the hell like they just think you're a conspiracy nut well now you see even there's a there's a a mountain in Ethiopia called Zion oh, there's a city yeah. in Ethiopia called Nazareth there's yeah. a city in Ethiopia called Golgotha and there's a city in Ethiopia called Hosanna yeah and they don't have those cities up in that place no I don't know they don't and then and then they'll say oh and, and uh, 2017 then they said well I guess we'll give them full Ethiopian I mean Israeli citizenship yeah For, so, I mean their own books Amos 9 7 says are you not as the Ethiopians unto me O you children of Israel they don't they don't read their own books to find out um, Melchizedek Father Abraham, who's the father of three faiths, mm. he paid tithes to King Melchizedek. King Melchizedek was the king of Ethiopia. Uh, he, was, he, he didn't only pay tithes, King Melchizedek, he was also a um, priest. Yeah. 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 So, and then Ethiopia, it, it plays large in all the, in all the faiths because also in, um, in, in Islam, we know that the Prophet Muhammad in his communications with uh, King Azanna, well, his the t king yeah. is the title in Arabic is Nugushi. Yeah. And in in Am Amarinya and Giz it's Nigus. Wow. So so he he's saying the Ethiopian Nagusi, the Ethiopian king. Yeah. Uh, you know, kept communicating with us and his last question was, um, and uh, how many how many gods do you believe in and when, when the prophet came back with the message one god did because then you must live, come and live amongst us as our brothers and our sisters yeah and even all the way till 1974 um uh, emperor haley Selassie said those that teach islamic ethiopian different than they treat any other ethiopian you yourself Best, let's say let's not call yourself an Ethiopian yeah so the, the king the kings and the emperors of Ethiopia have always stayed very firm on you treat any Islamic practitioner yeah, yeah no different than you treat anybody else or not you're a heretic but let's say you had um, the chance to to stop this how would you what, what solution would you have to stop this it would be a radical solution Everybody takes the DNA test. Those that can't prove that they have any blood lineage from the Middle East, they go back to, they, they give up the land that obviously at that point was stolen yeah. because they're not returning. How, how if you were never from there, are you returning back to the land of your father Abraham? Yeah. So, all right, now it's proven that you're not from there. Now you go back to Austria or Poland or Ukraine, Germany, Russia, wherever, Germany. Whatever, yeah. Wherever, you, wherever, yeah. wherever that blood DNA shows you the most of. Yeah. Uh, now, so that's that's how you that's how you do it. I take it you probably didn't vote, right? Pardon me. You don't have to tell me. You didn't vote. I did. Oh, you did. Cornell West. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so uh, I know a lot of people hey, could you voted for Jill Stein. Yeah. Yeah. Could you name me uh, one president that you thought in the whole presidency ever that you thought was a was a decent one? Yeah. So John F. Kennedy. That's what he, I was gonna say. John F. Kennedy. He said that APAC had a register as a foreign entity, mm. but all the, and he, there's too many of the beasts up on the hill, you know, on, in the Capitol, yeah. have voted that down that yeah. they could uh, register as an American institution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, of course, there's a Zionist institution. Yeah. You know, so they. And then three weeks after he said that, he was dead. Oh, better bang, better bang. Add it up. Three weeks after he said that wow. APAC needs to. Yeah, I, heard, I read he about that. Registered as read a foreign institution. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah. And then how about? Then the worst has got to be LBJ because when when the USS oh, Liberty yeah. was attacked, then he did nothing whatsoever about. That's Lyndon Johnson. Yeah, Lyndon Johnson, Lyndon Baines Johnson. We call him LBJ. Uh, yeah. So when when so that's 1967. So we have yeah. we have 
We have the worst and the best right back to back. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jimmy Carter calls out the Zionist state as a terrorist state. Um, but I think he started saying that more after he left the presidency. Yeah. Presidency. Since I last saw you, which was probably, I think, seven, maybe ten years. I've come periodically to the to DC, but um, it seems like there's more hate now, and the world is more angrier, and that's a bad sign, you know. But I'll tell you, I mean, there I've been like nice and big, like four hundred thousand person protests, ten thousand New York here in DC, you know. Yeah. Um, those great ones that have happened, of course, overseas, like Great Britain and Paris, and I like those. Um, yeah, but when I need to get low key here to like uh, do something here. I think you told me, did you get shot in Compton, or am I just thinking something happened to you in Compton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that why you're in the wheelchair? No, actually, I was. What well, happened in December of 1987? Wow, I wasn't even born then. The first Intifada. Wow. I told you that I was. I remember. Gaza, that. And I was in Ramallah in 1987. Wow. A little boy that was less than 10 meters away from me, so maybe 30 feet. 30 feet would be 9 meters. Maybe like that, that far away from me. I saw him go into the field. I see little boys playing soccer. I'd noticed that before. Yeah. I see the ball roll into the field. The ball runs in the field. The boy runs in the field. I see a sign, but it was only written in Hebrew. Now I can't read Hebrew, but I no. know that look different the, the than symbols. The Hebrew yeah, yeah. And, and Arabic. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm going, why isn't the sign written like at least like bilingual? Yeah. It doesn't have to be written in you know Hebrew and English, but Hebrew and Arabic. You know, yeah. they're going up. Oh. Just like, like that from from the guy that was supposed to be touring me. But of yeah. course, the guy that's touring me, he's an Israeli. Right. You know, I went there on behalf of King Amos uh, So then um, I see the little boy like three seconds later come out of the field and with the soccer ball and oh is this switch over his ball. I saw him kick the ball back to his mate, his mates. So I said, Okay, that's cool. I turned my head about this much and I heard and I, I dove away from the sound because I knew it triggered a lot of life. I didn't even look. If I just would have hesitated to look back to him and said, don't. Yeah, yeah. Because if you trigger it, keep your foot there. Yeah. So that's how you go short. No, no. no that, that wasn't that was incompetent. In oh. No, no. That's how I got shot. No, from my mid. Um, Shin down on my right So right you've leg. been shot twice? No, that, that's not me getting shot. That's oh. a little boy stepping on landmine and me getting oh, the shrapnel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The shrapnel injury. Oh, the shot yeah, in yeah, Compton. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that happened. In Compton, was you in a gang or was it just... No, no, I was on was telephone a... talking to my girlfriend after I got off work, letting her know I'd be over in 20 minutes. <laughs> that, I was, that I was picking up a six-pack of beer. It was eight, uh, 18 to drink still and I picked up a six-pack of beer and just calling her and saying, Hey, I'm on my way. And um, and while I'm talking to her, I saw, you know, there's cars that go by, but this was absolutely a very picked out Cadillac Stanville. And yeah. it, it was blue. It wasn't red. And it's incompetent. Oh, so, damn. And I said, man, that's nice. So I just thought, you know, that's nice. And I'm still talking to her. And then I I have my, um, I have a scooter, you know. Yeah, a yeah. Yamaha one. Yeah, yeah. Like a pretty nice scooter. Yeah. And then, and so I saw some guys sitting on the, on the, um, on the RTD. Rapid Transit District bus stop. Yeah. Right by my, he goes, he goes, yo, Fun Fix. And I, he, he, that was the name of my production company, my live music production. Uh, and I go, and I just give him the peace sign. And I knew, I mean, they were, they, they were Crips. And, um, and, and I had lived not far away around the corner from there when I was a kid. So I usually had that Compton card still. Where I'm, I'm all right in Compton. Yeah. And then, so, about maybe a minute and a half after the, it had rolled by at like 20 miles an hour, I saw it screeching and coming back again. 
and I turned like this way, mm. and, they, oh. and they killed the three guys on the bench, and I took one in. Wow. So I wasn't targeted. Oh, I wasn't targeted. okay, okay. You it's took just it. like, it's just, I'm in the, I'm in the, in, I'm in the phone booth, and they were in the bus, bus stop right there. And, yeah. And, and yeah, that wasn't the target. It was, that was an excellent shot. While I'm I go, and go, Kerry, uh, Kerry, yeah. I'm riding myself over to Harbor UCLA right now. I took one in the leg. She goes, yeah, I heard the phone. Gunshot, go yeah. Anyone, yeah. Any, anyone dead? And they go definitely. And I said, yeah. I just said definitely. So I mean, I've been in war. That's a war zone. Come, Compton. Yeah. The, 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 it's changed now, though. No, no, back no. Back I'm then. So, yeah. Seventy nine, eighty. Yeah. yeah also, these guys that are screaming Jesus, I'm guessing they're Trump supporters, right? Or are they? Yeah. There, there are even Trump nut lickers. Yeah, it's a pretty. Well, when you believe that a guy that will scam, yeah. When everything, when you believe that a guy that will tell thirty-two thousand lies in, over and over <laughs> again in the last nine years, um, is that your guy? I think the main issue is that um, he's more old-fashioned and the new regime is more liberal. He's so old-fashioned that he still wants to lynch black people. He's so old-fashioned wow. that he wants women to not be able to vote. He's so old-fashioned. It just never ends. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 he wants to take it back to so-called Make America Great Again. Women couldn't vote until 1920. Yeah. It's only 104 years that women can vote out of the 200 and you know, almost 50 year existence of the country. Yeah. This is amazing. Um, we are here. We are hello, just. Hello, hello. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna catch up with you later on, okay? You can make that happen for me. Try to get. Try I will. Tell Low Key that we need him to come out here, and I'll I'll get the uh, music. I'll get whatever amplification he needs, and we'll we'll do are something out here. Some? We'll have like forty thousand people out here for Low Key. Oh, right okay, here, okay, right okay. In front of the White House, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I won't even take out the permits as long as I know. I'll do all the permits within the the, the month before that. And yeah, make yeah. Sure that forty thousand people come out here to see Low Key do a thing. Oh, Low Key. Yeah. Uh, the guy from UK. Yeah, UK. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right. I could do that. Man. Let me get this. Okay. Let me try and get this. Cause I'm from the UK. I'll get yeah, it. Oh, I know I'll that. Get the mess. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I remember you. You remember me? Of course. <laughs> wow. Good memory, man. Yeah, my brother. Check it out, man. This is amazing. Would you ever go vegan? You think I've, it's healthy no, to go vegan? I, I've been vegetarian. Oh, you have? Yeah. Um, yeah, I used to be a long distance runner, so really it was basically to stay within my weight, race weight. Yeah. Um, but it, but you think I, it's not humanly well, right? Well, I mean, I slayed a goat for a family that um, wanted the goat meat, but her, it was a male goat, uh, and it was in Ethiopia. And so you was, actually lived long, in Ethiopia? Yeah, I, I, I lived there for, for two Would years. Would you go back? Yeah. You're considering it? Yeah. Because the United late, States is... Maybe my late senior years. Maybe after I hit somebody, I'll go back. And just yeah. Live it out, you know. It's a possibility. Because the United States... Is the divided crushers. It seems like it, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, they've never, they've never seen... A, a military conflict that they didn't want to get their military industrial yeah. complex money in on. They're involved in everything. Okay. All right. Uh, this, what's going on right now in, in, in Gaza, yeah, yeah. it wasn't an, any kind of thing as an attack on the United States of America. Why is the United States military industrial complex funding yeah. involved? Yeah. You know, keep it out of there and then we'll see how much advantage the Zionists have. Without the United States, without Great Britain, Austria, Germany, and France, and Italian funding, mm. they would have been crushed. Yeah. I mean, real Jews don't support no, this, I right? Know. They don't. I know. We have really good friends, Nikolai Karta, um, a lot of Orthodox uh, practitioners of Yehudim. They say, look, Yehudim says thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Yeah. We've gone there and visited our family, but we've never gone there to take the land of the Palestinians. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's... Well, 
when they like to say it was a British mandate. It was a British mandate from 2017 to 1948. Before 2000, uh, 1917, what was it? Palestine. Yeah. Because when you went to other countries to go and visit Palestine, you went to the Palestinian embassy to get your visa yeah, yeah, stamp yeah, yeah, the yeah. Palestinian yeah. entry visa. Yeah. So it was Palestine before it was Palestinian and uh, British mandate. Yeah. And, and then, so, like, oh, well, no, it was that. And I go, no, it wasn't always that. It was only that after 1917. The whole guy that threw the, screwed everything up was, um, was Herzl, you know? That was a Herzl. president. No, Herzl. He wrote 19, um, sorry, 1898. Tonight, uh, 1905, he was writing this thing to get it together to, to present before the leaders uh, of different European nations. Okay. Was during, um, during the early legal nations. Yeah. And, um, and then in 1914, Churchill actually read it and liked it to take the land away from the Palestinians and give it to He's them. quite an evil guy, right? Yeah, but Churchill. he's celebrated as a, as a, as a hero. During, then World War One broke out. And then at the end of World War One, he was so busy on being touted as such a hero. Yeah. Like Great yeah, yeah. And by the time World War Two broke out, then the re idea of the Israelis and hey if we sent them there then there would be no trouble for us but you're gonna obviously displace people by sending them there yeah so that's not the answer now the right. United States offered them Zion National Park in yeah. Utah um, Uganda offered them land and so did Congo there was places they could have gone where they would have displaced nobody because countries had officially made the offer to take in um, Jewish the, people the, the, the Europeans that claim themselves uh, so they they're... had three options you say they had three options but no they wanted to make sure they took the land of the Palestinians when they cross over the river Yordin and Moses didn't cross over way back then 3100 years ago they killed the Malachites Zebuzites Moabites Hittites Amorites Ishmaelites Yaakovites yeah. and attempted to kill off the Philistines I read about that yeah. yeah so that's in their own Old Testament and um, the only one they weren't successful in killing off were the Philistines so they killed off all the other seven so they committed Holocaust yeah. on seven different groups, nations nations of people 3,100 years ago and that's still not the first Holocaust because um, it's a Greek word that's over 3,200 years old it's from the Greek word Holocaustion becomes Holocaust wow yeah so they like to write these books about the Holocaust yeah yeah no they're talking about one of the the Native Americans that were killed in the Americas and the Caribbean by the French, the British, the Dutch, the Portuguese, uh, the Spanish. Spanish, yeah. That's Holocaust. Why, why, are the, why is there books that say that? Well, and each one of those Native groups, it was a Holocaust against. So, wow. so we're talking about like 600 Native nations that they come out that the Europeans committed Holocaust on. Yeah. So those are Holocaust equally, and so are the ones that the Hebrew Israelites did um, 3,100 years ago. What makes you think the these uh, European so-called Jews uh, chose Palestine instead of all these other lands? Okay, well, actually, if I go to some, um, something, because I've told you I've read many, many religious books, so I'll go now to the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, in um, Revelation 2.9, it says, um, I beseech you, those that call themselves Jews who are not, but are truly of the synagogue of Satan, I shall make them your footstool. Christ said that in the yeah, original yeah, Bible. Yeah, yeah, in the, in the um, yeah, in the book of Revelations two nine. In the book of Revelations three nine, he confirms a very close wording. He says, "For they that call themselves Jews who are not, who practice in the synagogue of Satan." Yeah. Before um, nineteen oh five, Herzl started using the word synagogue. Oh wow! They went and um, pra they practiced in temple. Yeah. All of a sudden, why is it synagogue? Why was why was prophet um, Esau? Why was he saying this um, nineteen hundred years before they started using the word? Yeah. Why was he using the word Jew when 
It was still the Hudim. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. They were different. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so you see, the words of the Prophet came to pass. Yeah. And it's even written in their own book. But you see, they say, no, he's not a Prophet. He's, I, and I have no problem with them saying Ha'am Mashiach because I even believe that in, that he, in the, end, the la, in the end days, in the time of kingdom come, I believe that he's going to be the one that comes back and he will be the Hamashiach. I do believe that. Yeah, I yeah. Be, I, I believe that um, Jesus will yeah, return. Yeah, he'll be the Hamashiach. Mm. So, you know, the, the Hebrews called um, Yeshua Hamashiach meant Yosef. Yeah. The father, of, I mean, son of Joseph. And then the, the early Christians called Yeshua Hamashiach ben Yahweh. Yeah, I've heard that term, Yahweh. Yeah. And then, um, but the. Um, but he was Yeshua Hamash, uh, Yeshua Ben Yosef, Dua Ber uh, Mariam. Yeah, that's that's his proper name. That should be known in Hebrew. We we know that we know who raised him. You know, we yeah, know who was the mother and the father of him. We're not going to deny the things because you see, unlike Judaism, denies that he, they just say that he's another uh, Jewish guy that was even crazy. Someone wow. Yeah, 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 they do disown. Uh, while, while Islam doesn't disown him, no, they say no, he's a very, not. very important and very high prophet. Yeah, and even many Muslim practitioners say he's the one that shall come right yeah. before the kingdom age. You know? Yeah, yeah so. Muslims believe that, but um, a lot of people wouldn't think that. They don't know how important Jesus is in Islam. They right. just think it's weird. Well, but people got to come read on over more. Get some for a little second. Uh, see, I give out um, different. Oh, leaflets. Leaflets. And there's probably some under here, or we pass them out. Yeah. We probably pass them out, but human rights in Islam, Palestine, and so on. Historical. See, so. But I have a Spanish Quran under here. Oh, wow. Yeah, because um, um, Daniel asked me for the Quran. So oh, I got him one in Spanish. Daniel. Yeah. So I got him one in Spanish. Wow. I think it's awesome you got a little team here. The last time I saw you, it was just you, I think. Oh, he was coming in a late night. Back then, he was coming in at night till like seven oh. in the morning almost every day. It's good, man. He it would relieve me until Neil. Yeah. Remember during that time? Like, we're talking about like seven years ago, eight years ago, you were doing that. You were leaving me at nine, and then Neil was relieving you at seven. Most nights, maybe like five nights a week. I was doing Let me see this guy. Oh, Neil was doing one, I was doing one. Let me one see one this guy. guy. One, 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 one